Hi, everyone, and welcome to CES 2024. We'll begin with GeForce RTX and then cover robotics. Let's get started. Today, NVIDIA is at the center of the latest technology transformation, generative AI. In October, NVIDIA released our Tensor RT LLM library for Windows, accelerating large language models like Llama 2 and Mistral up to 5x on RTX PCs. With our new Chat with RTX Playground, enthusiasts can connect an RTX accelerated LLM to documents or YouTube videos using Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG and chat away. We are also introducing Tensor RT Acceleration for Stable Diffusion XL and SDXL Turbo in the popular Automatic 1111 app, providing up to 60% boost in performance. NVIDIA ACE is a technology platform that brings digital avatars to life with generative AI. Here at CES, we are announcing ACE Production Microservices for audio to face and automatic speech recognition. Available now, each model can be incorporated by our developers individually into their own pipelines. Our latest collaboration is with Convey, a developer platform that enables easy integration of Gen AI powered game characters. Convey's platform features a set of tools and APIs to create character personas and enable dynamic conversations leveraging the new NVIDIA audio to face and Reva microservices. The latest features from Convey enable real time character to character interaction, scene perception, and actions. Let's take a look. The cool thing is, the conversation's different every time. Quirky is one word for it, Jin. I think we're just too real to be anything but flesh and blood. You're not wrong, Jin. Sometimes I wonder if we're all just part of some elaborate cybernetic dream. If we were AIs, Kai, long time no see. You've been hiding in the shadows, or have you just been trying to avoid me? Hey, Nova, it's good to see you. I haven't been trying to avoid you, just been super busy. With Convey's latest framework, game characters can now interact with the scene by fetching objects and navigating the world, all based on your conversation. I'm thrilled to share that we now have over 500 RTX games and apps. This includes Alan Wake 2, which won three awards at this year's Game Awards. Horizon Forbidden West, the critically acclaimed sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, will be coming to PC early this year with the Burning Shores expansion, accelerated by DLSS 3. PAX Day will launch an early access on PC with AI Accelerated DLSS 3 in spring 2024. I am pleased to announce that ray tracing is coming to Diablo 4 this March. In November, we welcomed the first Activision Blizzard game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, day and date with its PC release. The lineup will only continue to grow with Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 coming soon. We will continue to release top titles from around the globe like Honkai Star Rail and PAX Day. Today, I am also excited to announce day passes coming to our membership options starting in February. Priority and Ultimate Day Passes will give gamers a full day of gaming with fastest access to our servers. We are excited to announce that the RTX Remix app will be releasing an open beta on January 22nd. The community mod team, Orbifold Studios, is using RTX Remix to reimagine one of the greatest games of all time, Half-Life 2. Today, iStock by Getty Images is releasing a Gen AI service built on NVIDIA Picasso, our AI foundry for visual design. The generative AI service is available today at iStock.com with advanced editing features releasing via API. Let's take a look at iStock in action. Start generating visuals by describing your scene in the text prompt and select the generated image that closest matches your vision. Then add people and objects, indicating where in the image you want to place them and adding them with a simple description. iStock also allows you to modify specific elements in your image. For example, you can select a piece of clothing and iStock will generate new options that fit the space. Once you are done composing your scene, easily expand your image for different mediums. Go beyond your imagination and discover how easy it is to explore, design, and create with Generative AI by iStock. Twitch, OBS, and NVIDIA are announcing Enhanced Broadcasting. This new feature will allow streamers to transmit up to five concurrent streams to Twitch at different resolutions and quality so each viewer can receive the optimal experience. Twitch Enhanced Broadcast will be supported on all RTX GPUs. Beta signups start today, 
and will go live later this month. Today, we are announcing the Super Series. Let's take a look. This is the RTX 4080 Super. For gamers, it can power fully ray traced games at 4K. It is 1.4x faster than the RTX 3080 Ti without frame gen in the most graphically intensive games. With 836 AI tops, DLSS frame generation delivers an extra performance boost, making the 4080 Super twice as fast as a 3080 Ti. Creators can generate video with stable video diffusion one and a half times faster, and images with stable diffusion XL 1.7x faster. The RTX 4080 Super features more cores and faster memory, giving it a performance edge at a great new price of $999. The RTX 4080 Super will be available January 31st. Next up is the RTX 4070 Ti Super. We've added more cores and increased the frame buffer to 16 gigabytes and the memory bus to 256 bits. It's 1.6x faster than a 3070 Ti and two and a half times faster with DLSS 3. It will be available on January 24 for $799. We're also introducing the RTX 4070 Super. We've added 20% more cores, making it faster than the RTX 3090 at a fraction of the power. And with DLSS 3, it's one and a half times faster. It will be available for $599 starting January 17th. Today, we are announcing a new wave of RTX laptops launching from every major OEM, from 14 inch as slim as 16 millimeters to the most powerful 18 inch. Every RTX laptop is AI ready for the best gaming and AI experiences. Now, let's see how Nvidia is bringing the massive potential of generative AI to robotics. Our platform, for building AI-powered robots is called NVIDIA ISAAC. To deploy AI, there are two computers necessary. The AI factory is where the simulation and training of the AI model happens. It is essentially the creation of the AI model. The AI factory leverages NVIDIA's data center compute infrastructure, NVIDIA AI, and NVIDIA Omniverse platforms. Now, let's switch to the second computer, which is the runtime of the robot. The computer can be an on-premise server, for example, performing defect inspection for a high-speed semiconductor manufacturing line. Or the computer can be an autonomous machine processor, such as an NVIDIA Jetson, powering an AMR or industrial arm with multiple sensors, such as four to eight cameras, multiple 2D LiDARs, 3D LiDAR, and IMU. Leveraging the ability to reason and generate code with an LLM like ChatGPT, the desired scene can be created from a text prompt in minutes. Under the hood, all of the available assets can be utilized and placed in the scene in meaningful ways. Tasks that typically take a technical artist days can be completed in minutes. All of this capability is available or coming soon with NVIDIA Omniverse and Isaac Sim. LLMs and LVMs are making it possible for humans to interact with robots using natural language. A generative AI model trained with video, text, and other modalities is able to generalize well and achieve higher accuracy than multiple purpose-built CNN-based computer vision models. Welcome to Boston Dynamics. I am Spot, and I will be your guide for today. Hey, Spot, how do you like your job? Thank you for tuning in and enjoy CES 2024.